Now welcome back my dear class 11 student this is a class of accountancy and good afternoon everyone there is a Poritos am I audible Poritos good afternoon Okay, now from tomorrow there is a assessment 2 exam will be start. So first of all, best of luck for that and I have given the syllabus already. Now you should thoroughly read all the chapter because question will be comes under MCQ type. Okay. <coughs> you just follow your NCRT book and that will be enough and the last chapter actually I finished that is depreciation provision and reserve this chapter will be very important for your assessment too also so and from my part there is a Bidhu sir also actually takes some of the classes that are bill of exchange okay and some other that is cash book all that so <coughs> you should focus from chapter number one to eight of your NCRT book now today we will start a new chapter that is from your NCRT book part two that is accounting for incomplete records now what is accounting for incomplete records so whose records is not a complete who doesn't follow the double entry system so that is actually the single entry system followed by them now here what actually do you <coughs> what actually will do will not learn here th that what is single entry system we'll learn from single entry system how can we actually make a some of system that sort and that can we can make a balance sheet or we can actually reveal out the profit and loss of the particular organization now who actually recording about in single entry system now you can see there is a lots of shopkeeper nearby your house there is a general store there is a stationery store there is a grocery shop they do not actually record the transaction as per different rule and principle of the double entry system because double entry system you know if one is debit then same amount should be credited but they do not follow that so that's we are calling as a single entry system where they just one side they maintain suppose <coughs> there is a grocery shop and there you are the owner of this grocery shop now there is a somebody comes to purchase something that is ruby okay now ruby actually purchase how they actually record you record when you are a grocery shopper now ruby actually purchase some milk suppose rupees 20 for one packet meal they ask to you now next they can purchase some rice that is rupees 40 and you are maintaining a diary there you are writing whatever ruby is purchasing because in that case ruby is purchasing in credit so you are writing down whatever the ruby purchases because later when he actually paid the amount so you can say that your amount for that and you are purchasing that that product now next stage suppose pulses that is rupees 60 so total 120 they purchase and in your diary you just it will like that okay now suppose there is another customer comes to your 
grocery shop that's name is santos and your diary you are make a another open another name that is santos okay so <coughs> here santos purchase some butter that is rupees 20 now he purchased some uh, biscuits that is rupees 30 now he purchased some <coughs> mm, daily toiletry use goods okay or you can say uh, some pulses also that is rupees 50 now total whatever he purchased he purchased rupees total 100 now <coughs> few days later what happened actually in this small shop shop that is in vegetable shop in grocery shop in near, nearby general store now they actually give credit because that is each and everybody the shopkeeper and customer is very known to each and everybody okay both of you now a few days later ruby gave rupees 100 so you just take as a paid right like that paid rupees 100 and there is a 20 rupees still left now here actually santos paid rupees 50 one day after one day or two day then you just write here 50 so that way you are actually recording the transaction so there is now from that can you say what is the profit and loss of his company not a company of his uh, store of his shop yes you can say that and how can you say that that will actually i will learn actually i will teach you how can do that from this type of things you can easily and the profit <coughs> whatever actually reveal that is not a estimated profit that will be the real profit okay so as they are not maintaining any trial balance they are not maintaining any ledger and that for this accounting is called for accounting for inco incomplete records okay that is called single entry system popularly known as single entry system so they another account they can maintain maybe the cash okay and they can record the drawings whatever they are actually taking from the business so what is the procedure to reveal out the profit so before reveal out the profit you have to do another thing now what happened he in incomplete records there are two types of things can be happen that is simply reveal the profit and another is conversion to double entry system okay there is a two type of accounting you have to do one is simply reveal the profit and one is conversion to double entry system now conversion of double entry system when needed suppose <coughs> there is a person who actually running the general stores okay but say he certainly needed some loan that is the 10 lakh or 20 lakh loan and that is needed from and this loan they should they actually want to take from the bank now what happened whenever you go this person actually some people go to the bank and bank will ask ask actually the person to just you just take uh, your st financial statement that is trading profit and loss and balance sheet and after seeing that we will give you the loan okay but he has nothing he has just one diary and there he recorded something what is the cash what is the de what uh, whatever they sell whatever he purchased that 
they actually record in a diary not maintaining any proper account but whenever you go to the bank bank will not actually understand this these things okay they do not know about this accounting they only know the double entry system so what actually happen the in that time we have to go to some charter accountant or cost accountant and by them that can be happen you have to this account we can convert to a double entry system also so that will we learn later first will first actually now we'll see how we can do the profit from just whatever record the shopkeeper actually maintain okay whatever report they actually maintain now first what we'll need now a general store businessman comes to me as i know some of the account and says that actually i am recording actually i am doing the business two or three years but i do not know what is my exact profit so can you do that i said yes i can do that but there is a procedure i will go to your uh, your shop in a <coughs> in a specific date and inspection that and i will ask some question through that i can make your whatever profit you have actually made for last one year okay now first of all when i go to his general store what actually i do i make a balance sheet i want to make a balance sheet as on 1120 okay first january 2020 i go went to his shop and try to make a balance sheet now see in balance sheet there is left side is assets i uh, sorry left side is liabilities amount rupees and right side is assets amount rupees okay now first in liability side you know there is a capital so there is a capital that will be the balancing figure we will reveal first now he is not maintaining anything okay he is not maintaining anything just i asked him first that you are doing the business is the business the place you are doing the business is your own or you are doing in a rent he said me that it is my own property own building then i asked him what is the purchase price of this property he said that is a 6 lakh rupees of the value of this building i have purchased so and that time i got that so there is a building so building is asset and write down 6 lakh rupees okay so building value is 6 lakh rupees then next question i asked him that either this 6 lakh money is all of your own or you are actually borrow for somebody else now at that time he answered me that no sir total money is not my money actually there is a 4 lakh my own is there and 2 lakh actually i borrowed from one of my relatives so there is a loan that is loan we know always a liability and that is 2 lakh so in case uh, liability side we write down loan that is 2 lakh now next i ask there is a, i see there is a lots of furniture he used to and self furniture and self he used for putting down the different type of goods product actually there are biscuit there is a pulses there is a rice there is a some other toiletry items okay now i ask him you actually whenever you make this furniture what is actually you paid for he said me sir actually furniture total i 
paid for this furniture to making this furniture there is a 50000 okay so i got the furniture also then i saw there is a fridge or a refrigerator and there they actually he puts up some of the soft drinks okay now i i, I ask him that refrigerator you buy in it is your own he said actually buy in second hand so this is also a asset refrigerator or fridge refrigerator or fridge you can say and the value of the refrigerator is 20,000 or we can say 10,000 just 10,000 he purchased in second hand refrigerator to put down the different stop things because otherwise people will not take if it is hot because everybody like to buy the soft drinks in a cold okay now i ask there is a lots of stock i am seeing in your shop so can you say that what is the estimated value of this you cannot say exact value as you do not uh, writing anything or you do not uh, did not recorded anything he said yes uh, i can say you okay i can say you uh, because businessmen know what is actually they can easily value whatever the stock they have they have very good idea of that okay so most of the time that is right she said so there is a stock also that is also asset he said i have a 40000 stock is there 40000 stock is there now i so a diary, I mean what for you are actually maintaining this diary. Now he said if there is an there is most of the time customer will come and actually they takes credit. That's why I'm maintaining a diary to whatever the credit amount we actually get from them. Then I see there is a different name that is Ruby, Santos, Sonu, Monu, all that, and from all of uh, the sum of all actually comes and that is called debtors is we find that is 20,000 so 20,000 data is that and the other and the next page I saw there is some other names also i said what is this name well, this name actually write for whom actually i would like to pay because i purchase uh, different time in pulses butter and they actually give me in credit and so i have to pay them so i am maintaining the name of the whom actually i like to pay so when you purchase in credit that is your creditor so he also maintained that therefore i found there is a creditor also so there is a creditors and total of creditors is suppose 5000 okay total of creditors is 5000 now i you see whenever you go to any small shopkeeper so he maintain a drawer and from drawer he actually takes the cash and from there he actually gives the cash okay now <coughs> i open his cash drawer and i have counted that so there is a cash of rupees there is a cash of rupees 10000 now you have got the all the assets now you just do the things so there is a six lakh five ten four so that is a seven lakh seven lakh thirty thousand total of asset side in credit side from total seven lakh thirty thousand you just minus loan amount two lakh and five lakh that is five lakh 5000 from 7 lakh 30000 you have to minus 
फाइव लैख ऐ सॉरी टू लैख फाइव थाउजेंड टू लैख फाइव थाउजेंड नो व्हाट विल कम सो फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज द कैपिटल ओके नाउ हियर इज द कैपिटल ऑफ फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टोटल सो हियर एस एस साइड एंड लाइबिलिटी साइड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल हियर यू कैन सी दैट इज इक्वल वी गॉट द कैपिटल नाउ आई हैव मेक द कैपिटल नाउ I give him two home stocks. Just another two thing I needed. That is, and I said him that I will come again thirty first December two thousand twenty. Okay, is thirty first yes thirty first December two thousand twenty. So I give him a two home stocks. One is if he. introduce any additional capital or additional investment then what is the amount you should write in your diary and other thing i have also said whatever the drawing drawing means for personal use of the shopkeeper whatever the amount they withdrawing from the bank a withdrawing from the business that is drawing because he needed that because <coughs> to live a life he has also made some expenses and whatever expenses he actually make from this his business that is called drawing so this to amount i have given that you should tell well, when we actually i will come in your shop in 31st december okay now you see how will make the balance sheet of 31st december so as on 31st december 20 that is end of the year so again i will making a balance sheet okay, there is a sort of place so i have to now i'm doing here because this figure is needed this figure is needed so that is the liabilities rupees assets rupees now first there is a billing so there is a billing and we know the billing value is 6 lakh but as a accountant as we are a accountant we have to depreciation sub amount of billing he doesn't know about that that you are making depreciation okay but you are making depreciation for that that is suppose that is a 5% depreciation you are doing so 5% depreciation means so we have to depreciate from 60000 that is 30000 in a whole year so there is balance will become that is 5 lakh 70000 So five lakh seventy thousand is the balance of the building. Now second is furniture. In furniture, I am taking there is also depreciation. Total value is fifty thousand. So beginning of the year, so we depreciate in the end of the year. So that can be ten percent. So that will be the forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand. Now. there is a refrigerator refrigerator also now it is easy for me to do the balance sheet end of the year because we know all the figure so refrigerator there is a higher level of that is electronic products so we will actually charge higher level of depreciation that we are now we are getting the depreciation of 20% in rep refrigerator now total balance that is after depreciation will be come that is 8000 okay now again i ask him whatever the stock you left now and what is the cost now they again say the stock value is now rupees 
थ्री फाइव एट थाउजेंड सो देर इज नॉट मेनी स्टॉक एक्चुअली लेफ्ट सो स्टील देर इज एट थाउजेंड स्टॉक इज लेफ्ट नाउ एगेन आई आस्क हिम व्हाट इज द डेटर्स पोजिशन नाउ ही सेइंग माय डेटर्स इज दैट इज फ्रॉम डायरी आई एक्चुअली चेक आल्सो दे व्हाट व्हाट हु एक्चुअली पर्सन विल फ्रॉम द एक्चुअली शॉपकीपर विल गेट द मनी देयर आई फाउंड द डेटर इज नाउ इज ए higher that is <coughs> suppose 10000 now i again open his cash or drawer and i counted that there is a balance of cash of rupees 10000 and to open the drawer i found a check a bank passbook also i said there is a bank pass you opened a bank account now he is saying yes i opened a bank account very recently and i found in this book the bank balance was that is a bank bank balance was also 10000 now there is you no know, there is a capital and there is a loan also now i ask him if anything you have paid as a loan you have taken a loan from a relative now you actually paid a loan or not now he is saying yes sir i actually paid 50000 of loan so now our loan amount will be 50000 less that is 1 lakh 50000 now i ask anything you anybody will actually get money from you because yes sir there is a some <coughs> Uh, biscuit who provided me biscuit he will actually get money from me so they are called creditors and i found his diary also and the amount will be 10000 okay now i ask you is anything any bill anything you have not any bill or electricity bill or water bill or any telephone bill is still you have to pay it or outstanding is there yes sir it a electric bill actually come but we had actually not paid it but we will pay it. so there is a outstanding expenses also so outstanding expenses that will be also our liability and the amount is 5000 now again you have to do that that is year end what is the position of balance sheet so that is total Five lakh seventy at a five lakh seventy thirty seventy at that is total six lakh six lakh forty fifty. Six lakh seventy. Six lakh seventy will be total value. Here also six lakh seventy. Now from that you have to deduct this. That is one lakh fifty. Ten thousand means one lakh sixty and five thousand. One lakh sixty five thousand. Then what will become? One lakh sixty five thousand means that will be the four lakh. Thirty-five thousand, four lakh thirty-five thousand. So that is the capital. That is also the balancing figure. Now I ask him. I have given you a home tax. What is the home tax? If there any additional capital, you have been introduced. Sometimes it is needed to do something. That is, uh, he actually said yes, sir. I actually. I, Invested some amount to repair my furniture and also uh, painting my total shop. So, what is the amount of additional capital? Now he actually answered me total additional capital he actually introduced or he invested that is fifty thousand. 
and I asked you whatever drawing because you need your money and from business you actually taking this money yes sir I have taken some money and total yeah that is one lakh one lakh money he actually withdraw from the business that is called drawing for his personal use so these two information actually we got now you see so two value you should remember one is that is the at the time of open the shop that is five lakh twenty five thousand and now that is four lakh thirty five thousand capital at the year end so total what is the opening capital opening capital is that five lakh twenty five and closing capital is four lakh thirty five now this is not actually the balance sheet we'll call it as a statement of affairs we'll call statement of affairs statement of affairs as on 1 1 20 and it is also called statement of affairs statement of affairs why we actually not calling this actually balance sheet though it is same as like balance sheet because here we, am, we are not actually maintaining any laser account okay I am build all these things from the information given by the shopkeeper okay not I am not taking anything from their they actually not maintaining any records any books here maintaining one diary and there is also a cash balance in where he is maintaining so we actually build this from not any ledger not any trial balance from not any trading and profit and loss account so there is no trial balance there is no ledger account they actually not maintaining or not actually doing so that we will call that is a statement of affairs okay not a balance sheet from trial balance we make the actually because capital actually get from where capital actually get from trial balance and from that we actually it is transferred to the balance sheet but here actually we are capital we are actually getting as a balancing figure both of the case in the opening in the closing also so it is called as a statement of affair resembles to balance sheet not a balance sheet it is so we have to remember two things one is opening capital that is five lakh twenty five thousand and one is closing capital that is four lakh thirty five thousand so i'm writing here otherwise i'll forget that is five lakh twenty five thousand that is opening capital and four lakh thirty five thousand that is closing capital okay now what is your main motto your main motto is to reveal the what is the profit and loss he actually made in total during the year so first we have to reveal opening and closing capital and we have also got two things that is what is additional capital he is introduced and what is the drawing he actually made now see one thing whenever you do actually done already I hope that is <laughs> trading trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet now if you make a balance sheet in here so in balance sheet first what actually write so it's a liability side that is a liability side it is the amount rupees the asset side that is the amount rupees so in liability side there is a capital first that is the capital we got from tile balance that is some amount we got now what we actually list from here we list the drawing amount list the drawing amount now there is a figure will come now we add the we add the introduction of capital if any capital introduced in a 
introduce capital we add it during the year if any capital is introduced by the proprietor we add here now we come to a point now we also add or less when we add we add when there is a profit so that will be the plus we less when there is a loss actually come from profit and loss account and from that amount the bell whatever the figure come here what is that that is the closing capital so how we'll make the closing capital in here in that process and that is the opening capital you got from the trial balance okay now if we figure it as a mathematical way then what will be happen <sighs> now that will be the opening capital plus sorry minus drawing plus <coughs> new capital introduce during the year plus any profit that is profit we got from the profit and loss account or loss we also got from the profit and loss account we are actually assuming here the profit so if you loss that will be the minus so from that we got the closing capital that is the mathematical way we can set we come to the closing capital now in that case we already got the closing capital okay now we have to reveal out what is the profit or loss so what if this equation we use then we said closing capital that is actually profit of the organization equal to just reverse the thing closing capital minus opening capital plus drawing minus additional capital additional capital okay so from if you reveal the for want to reveal the profit that will be our equation closing capital minus opening capital plus drawing minus additional capital so if you put out the all the figure now you got the all the figure you have got the closing capital that is 4 lakh 35000 minus opening capital that is 5 lakh 25000 you have also got the drawing that is 1 lakh and also got the whatever additional additional amount additional investment the shopkeeper actually made that is 50000 and whatever reveal that will be our profit so in that way also reveal the profit though they are not maintaining any records only records we found that is some debtors and creditors record he is actually writing in a diary and we know his cash but through the statement of affairs and through that equation we can easily reveal what is the profit actual profit he actually got from in a particular year and that is called the through single entity system where no record no ledger no trial balance actually made no journal that they actually made still we can reveal the profit that is the first way and the next for today that is all is there any if you, any query then you can ask me Oridos de Bargo. Have you understood how we'll reveal out the profit? There is nothing was there first of that. When I take the example, there is only some debtors and creditors list is there. And 
we figure out the asset value okay and through that we can easily reveal through that equation that profit equal to closing capital minus opening capital plus drawing minus additional capital we can reveal the amount what is the profit if there is a loss that will be the loss amount will become minus figure will become now producers have you understood this is the first step to do the accounting for income inco for the incomplete records and first there is a two way i actually said that is simply reveal the profit now what actually make here next step is statement of profit and loss there next i will see actually uh, make you understand that how will actually do that through a practical example now for today have you understood the thing for those debar go have you understood is there any problem you can ask me for those debar go have you understood yes clear sir okay thank you that is the end of the class so continue the next classes and best of luck for your assessment to exam okay thank you